Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Tuesday reached Nepi Tao for his first bilateral visit to Myanmar after concluding the annual BRICS summit in China. On a two-day visit, Prime Minister Modi will be in the Southeast Asia nation aiming to chart out a roadmap for closer cooperation between the two countries in areas like security and counter-terrorism. He later met Myanmar President Hatim Kao. The Prime Minister will hold wide-ranging talks with the State Councillor Aung San Suu Kyi today. External Affairs Minister Shusma Swaraj on Tuesday arrived in Russian port city of Vladivostok on a three-day visit to attend a third Eastern Economic Forum, which will deliberate on pressing issues relating to global trade. Several Karnataka BJP leaders were detained yesterday after the set-out on Mangalaru Chalo bike rally organized by the party's Yuva Morcha in protest against the alleged killings of Hindu activists in the coastal districts. Among those detained were former Deputy Chief R. Ashoka, Lok Sabha member Pratap Simha and MLA's Arvindor Limbavali and Satish Reddy. Cricketer Gautam Gambhir on Tuesday said that he will support for life the educational expenses of Zora, the five-year-old daughter of a policeman killed by militants in August. Gautam Gambhir, whose foundation is involved with charity work, has decided to support Zora, the daughter of slain Jammu and Kashmir police officer Abdul Rashid. Gambhir is spontaneous in reacting to social issues. In Sikar district of Rajasthan, farmers were continuously campaigning for debt relief for the last five days. The distressed farmers left all their families and came to protest for the movement. For the past five days, they have been demanding about the minimum rate of electricity and the rates of the crops being given to them. Farmers from around 800 villagers gathered at Sikar to protest against the state government on the loan waiver scheme.